What up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mud. And today I've got my day six project stunties update. Uh, as you can see, I only added three guys to the first three that I already did. I added one quarreler, one great weapon warrior, and one hammerer because I spent most of the day filming and rendering and uploading my how to paint dwarfs video for how I paint these dwarves in my particular color scheme. Um, and that, that just took a while to, to you know film and then put on the base coat and then film and then put the washes on and then film and do the highlighting. And so that took up actually most of my work time today. But I do think that getting down the paint scheme to a consistent level uh, which I was afraid I might not be able to do just because I was experimenting and I wanted to make sure that I kept all of my paint schemes kind of consistent. Like I, I see I, I missed the uh, hem here so I'm gonna have to go back over that with my red. Um, but I'm trying to do a consistent base coat, wash, highlight, and then do the actual basing for these models with the, you know, with the, with the little gold nuggets lying around. I think that's just such an effective little technique if I could take a minute to talk about how you know it's the little gold nuggets just pop on the on these guys bases so much I really like it um, yeah but let's see what else did I want to say I did get to work on more of my cannon so we can look at that I put the the gold on and then I did the shading for it so it's just about done. I'm gonna try and go back over it with some highlighting. Oh, I didn't shade the, the wheels, I guess. Wash this wheel. But, you know, I, I realized when I was working on this cannon that I, I am just not happy with a model until I get the washes on. And I think that's really spoiled of me to say because washes are a relatively new thing. But, um, yeah, just putting on base coats, it's hard for me to see what the finished result is going to be like because sometimes it's too thick or sometimes it's sloppy and gets into other parts of the model but when you get a good wash in and then it blends the colors it gets into the shadows you really get to see your you know your final vision of what you want the model to look like coming together and I think that's so motivating as a painter it really helps me to get into uh, finishing it up like for my spell weaver for example um, I I was really just not happy with how she was going with the base coats. I was like, I don't know if it's all going to come together. And then um, in the end, she just really came together with the once the washes were down. And I was like, oh yeah, that's what I want my model to look like. And then I did the highlighting. But really, when I had the base coats on, I was just thinking to myself, like, I I don't know how this is going to go. And that's real for my that was definitely real for my cannon because there's only two colors that I use, Boat Gun Metal and Dwarf Bronze. So everything just looks so bright and everything kind of just didn't, I, I didn't see what my final vision was going to look like until the, the wash was on. And another thing washes do, which is great, is that it shows you where the mold lines are that you still need to fix. Like I'm looking at the mold line in the center of the wheels and I thought I'd, I'd sanded them down enough but this one is pretty pretty decent, it's just a little smudgy. But this wheel is just so, like, you can really see the mold line there. Anyway, that's all the pro uh, progress that I've made for today. Let's just line all these guys up together. Not much else to say. I'm gonna get to work now. My goal for tomorrow, if I could get started today after I'm done filming, I'll, I'll get started because I still got a um, I, I don't really have anything else to do today, so I know I said I was only going to work for the three hours, but um, I do have a little bit more time to to spend on my dwarves before I have other stuff that I need to get doing. So my plan is by tomorrow I'd like to do all of the base coats for the um, for the great weapon warriors because the warriors are going to be my first unit that I paint and. After the Warriors, I'm going to do the Quarrelers because they're different and they're fun. And then after those, I'm going to end with my Hammerers, which I want to save for last because they are the most ornate and um, decorative unit, so I want to be able to, to build up to that. 
um, try not to take as much time as I can, try to get through these other two units pretty quickly. But um, yeah, the, and, and also because the Dwarf Warriors are supposed to be a little bit grungier, a little bit more weather beaten, and uh, not weather beaten, but weathered, and um, hopefully I'll be able to gauge my progress on how fast I get through these guys. So, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying with Project Stunties and Project Wars and checking in for these updates, these daily updates. Um, I really want to thank you guys for encouraging me and for for giving me the uh, motivation I need to, to keep going. And uh, also, this is an open invitation. I'm going to say every video, you know, it's never too late to start to join up. Oh, this guy looks crazy. Look at him. Who touched my beer? Who touched my beer? I'm going to hit you with my axe. Uh, no, that was Russian. I think that was Russian. He's a Russian dwarf. Um, yeah, but join up. Join. It's never too late. It's always, it's always a good time to join in. Um, even though I'm, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting some steam going, some steam power going. Um, it's never too late to, to join in the painting challenge and to get some models done that you've been keeping on your on your shelf for a while. I, uh, I highly encourage that you, you join in and let's, let's motivate each other and let's, let's, get these, let's get these painting projects done. The, these ones that have been you know, collecting dust on your shelf. Let's, let's do it together.